this is the cow inside of the seeds. This is what's used to create chocolate, cocoa butter, um, cacao nibs, you can call it coca or cocoa, whatever. It grows off a tree. It's native to South America. So I wanted to grow some. I just got the fruit. I've been wanting to try it for years. Finally tried it. I love it. Um, I was trying to figure out how to grow it myself. So what I did was I soaked my seeds overnight because after eating it, my seeds had the fruit on the outside. I did a little research and the research says that do not dry out the seeds to get them to grow. You're going to have to grow them fresh out the, um, the pod. For my expertise or my level of understanding, when you grow stuff that's still wet, it molds, the seeds damage, it's worthless. So I was trying to figure out how do I get the um, the fruit or the meat of the fruit off of here. And it's simple. You just use your fingernails. So you want to scrape all this off and then you want to plant it. Now I soaked these overnight but I took um, some of the cacao to work and I ate it at work and I didn't even have to soak it. I just pulled it off. What's the lucky thing about it or the unexpected surprise that I discovered about my other one, which this fruit, um, this seed is the same as well, is that it already started to sprout inside of the cacao. So you can see right there that there's a seed that's starting. So I'm going to wipe off everything and I'm going to plant these tonight. And I'm just going to update you guys slowly. Unfortunately, I'm, I'm in North Florida. And these came from South Florida. The temperature, I don't think, should be that much different. But it's still kind of cold. And it'll probably be cold um, until the middle of February. So I can't take these outside. And these need humidity and they need warmth. So I'm, that's going to be my challenge, figuring out how to keep these warm. But other than that, I'm going to just, detail for detail, show you guys how I grow these. If you have any questions or any suggestions because you've done it before, just let me know. Thank you.